So, uh, after the success of the video the other day about uh, the president's responsibility to order a flag to half staff, somebody asked me if I would comment on Donald Trump. <laughs> and, uh, sure. Um, I think he's hysterical. I think, um, I think this far out from the actual election, um, a good laugh is, uh, is, is justifiable. I mean, you know, if, if you make a little bit of a shit show out of it or, a spe you know, a spectacle, um, you can get maybe some more people engaged and maybe, uh, uh, actually bring some more people out to vote. Um, here's, here's the thing. Uh, the, the, the basis of what he is running on, um, this whole, I'm going to build a, a fence along the, the southern border and I'm going to fine Mexico $100,000 for every illegal. Here, here, here's, here's, here's the thing. If, if you build a wall, an impenetrable wall against the southern border, um, and you make it 40 feet high and barbed wire and guys with Gatlin guns who have the... Uh, the authority to shoot on sight anyone they see crossing into this country illegally. You are still not going to stop the flow of illegal drugs or illegal immigrants into this country. And the reason for that is simple. The wall is above ground, and we regularly find gigantic, and we call them now not just tunnels anymore, there are, there's a new definition of some of these things called super tunnels. They are lit, they are concrete, they have airflow systems, and you can drive 18-wheel trucks down them. And they go all the way into, like, middle of Texas. So, if, if, if Donald Trump believes that the multi-billion dollar a year drug industry is coming across the border 40 pounds a time, at a time on, on the back of an illegal immigrant. Just just think about that for a second. I mean, the average guy maybe carrying a 40-pound sack, yeah, it comes across the weed, the coke, the heroin, the meth, yeah, it does, it comes across that way too. That's that guy's, uh, that's that guy's, uh, uh, all his eggs in one basket. You know, if I get busted, I'm in a lot of freaking trouble, but if I don't, at least I have a couple of thousand dollars in my pocket to start my new life here in the country that I am trying to get into because mine is not in the best shape. Um, and it's not. It, Mexico's not in the best shape. It's 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 poverty stricken. It's uh, and it's partially our fault for this whole isolationist uh, idea that idealism that we have uh, in, as far as the southern border. And it speak just speaking of borders, there are. You know the, the the country is it's it shapes you know like you know and then there's little Texas down here. Putting a border right here doesn't stop anything from coming in here or here. Now I see a lot of um, people in in my city who I would honestly I would I would have to say I'm gonna bet that they are not, you know, not, not all of them, but the ones that I can point out and say, you know, I don't think that person actually belongs here. I think they might be an illegal immigrant. I see license plates on their cars from uh, not Texas or, or New Mexico, but they're from Wisconsin and Illinois, things at the top of our country, because uh, the idea of going around and coming in through the top I can't be the first person to have thought that's probably a good idea, considering the disparity of number of border agents on the southern and northern borders. Building giant walls doesn't work. Isolationism doesn't work. Um, ask China. Ask Japan. Uh, they, they, there, were, there were centuries of isolationism in, in certain cases with these countries. And um, ultimately... It doesn't work. So, 
Um, that that's that's. I mean, aside from the comical fodder that I get from watching the crazy train that is Donald Trump. I mean, the stuff that comes out of his mouth. You have to laugh. The fact that he's leading in the polls is a little fucking scary. But um, you have to, if you don't look at that, I mean, I know why Jon Stewart is giggling right now in his last couple of weeks in office in, or in, in uh, on his show. It's because this guy is just, that's the gift that keeps on giving right there. Um, he opens his mouth and, wow. But, um, Anyway, the, 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 I just wanted to take a minute to address his in, his actual policy involving um, building a giant wall, and I'm going to you know make Mexico give me a hundred thousand dollars. Just make up some arbitrary number, hundred thousand dollars for every illegal immigrant. <sighs> Sorry, Donald. <laughs> Sorry. Keep it up, though, man, because you, you, you fucking made my day yesterday and day before with the stuff you said. All right, guys, you keep it safe, and I'll see you soon.